What's your full name? Ahmed Mohammed Hassan Al Khalut. And what's your nickname? Abu Hassan. What's your current position? I'm the manager of the hospital. Manager of the Kamal Adnan Hospital. When did you join Hamas? In 2010. When was the last time you conducted military training? In 2010. And what's your rank in Hamas? Amid, which is parallel to a brigadier general. Describe for me how Hamas uses your hospital to hide military activists. Those who are hidden officially, which were coordinated, that I know about, according to rank, they are the senior political officials. They are the seniors, the military and civilian officials. They had rooms which they hid in the hospital. They stayed there 10 days and then they changed to a new location, to a different place, and then they left the hospital entirely. Why did they hide in the hospital? Because for them, the hospital was considered to be a safe place. They knew Israel wouldn't target it. They won't be targeted when they're inside the hospital. How many arrived? There was a time where inside the hospital there were tens, in fact close to 100 fighters. Does your hospital have medical personnel? Which are part of the Izzadin al-Qassam brigade, the military, military of Hamas? Yes, in fact I know 16 people. I mentioned all of their names and what position each one has, whether within the hospital or outside the hospital. Are they military activists? Yes, they're involved in the military. And who are they? What's their role in the hospital? The position is usually a doctor or a nurse or a paramedic or a clerk, meaning official positions in the hospital, but they also have different positions in the al Qassam Brigade and also in the uh, Al-Quds Brigades of the, that's the uh, military wing of Islamic Jihad. They're also mixed in with the hospital staff. Meaning, can you say that your hospital turned into a military post? Yes, I would say so, under the control of Hamas. Does Hamas have private offices inside the hospital? Yes, they do. What do you mean by that? There are offices where the Hamas leader and two of the senior officials were. I mentioned their names, Majdi Abu Amsha and Mushar al-Masri. Uh, there's a place where the soldier was, meaning they hid the, they hid the kidnapped soldier. There's a place for the governor on behalf of the police. And there's also a place for the interrogators in the hospital. There's a place for internal security and a place for special security. And they all had private lines, telephone lines uh, in those places in the hospital. Does Hamas use private ambulances? Yes, they do. They have a private ambulance. Even its color and the way it's painted are different. And it also doesn't have a license plate. Why do they use it? They use it to transport the uh, Israeli uh, soldier who they kidnapped and also transfer the bodies. I saw come and go without taking anyone who was injured. It, didn't, it also didn't help us when we had injured people. And when there were many injured people and families, I begged him to take someone to the Indonesian hospital or to the Shifa hospital in Gaza, but uh, the ambulance driver wouldn't. Why? I guess... His mission of transporting kidnapped people was more important. His mission is to carry out the orders of his headquarters in al Qassam. Why do they use that specific ambulance? For purposes that are not transporting the injured. What do you think of the leaders of Hamas? I told you that they are cowards in my estimation. They are cowards because they left us in the field while they're hiding in the secret places. The people are the ones who pay the price, so to, so to speak. What's the solution in your view? They've destroyed us, destroyed ordinary Gazans, unfortunately.